It is the first of the year, and as you are getting organized, there might be one area that you may have forgotten about. Your medicine cabinet. You know you should clean it every year. Expired medications can really be less effective or even be abused. So joining us now with how you can deep clean your cabinet is Dr. Carol Matichka. She is a clinical associate professor at the University of North Florida. Thank you so much for being here. We appreciate it. Yes, thank you for having me. Okay, so let's talk about, th this is really da dangerous and you don't really think about it. You just kind of let them stack up. We do. We do that very often, and unfortunately, that can be a real problem for a couple of reasons. Um, first of all, if you have a medication in your cabinet and you're not sure exactly what maybe you used it for in the past, you could potentially bring it out again and use it for something inappropriate. Um, another issue is that as the medications become expired, they do become somewhat less effective, um, particularly, and hopefully people aren't keeping antibiotics, but certainly antibiotics break down. Um, and here in Florida, we have a lot of moisture um, and heat, and this, particularly if we keep our medications actually in the medicine cabinet, where really isn't the best place to keep our medications, then those can actually break down even faster. But probably the biggest dangers are when you keep those medications, particularly pain medications, in your cabinet, hoping to use them potentially at another time. Adolescents or other individuals might get a hold of it and use them inappropriately and could be harmed. Yeah, and I see you have a variety of different medications. This is something that you have to look for uh, in all kinds, not just maybe the kind you get from your pharmacist, but even other ones that you may get over the counter as well? Sure, absolutely. And sometimes we don't look at those and yeah. just assume that they're okay. We'll keep them for several years, not realizing that they might be expired um, from a couple of years ago. And particularly when we have um, liquids. Liquids mm. tend to break down even faster than our tablets and our capsules do. So keeping that in mind. And sometimes we might forget to actually look at our sprays mm -hmm. because those sprays also be can become expired as well. You know, I know there are a lot of different ways you can get rid of those and clean them out. So we're going to talk about that when we come back after the break. Great.